Hello and welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald and today I'm going to show you how to make a classical all-round arrangement. So for this we've got this lovely big uh, oasis tree. So this is one that's a square size which is perfect because as you can see it holds four blocks of oasis and what I've done is I've used two on the base and then done another two on top but just with a quarter turn. So this gives us a good amount of foam to work in. We've got a range of different foliage and our main flower for this is going to be these beautiful pink Cymbidium orchids. But what I'm going to do first with my foam is just tape it off. So really when you're making a big arrangement the place that is going to take the pressure is actually everything has a tendency to want to go out the way. So this to me is the most important taping that I can do. So straight away whatever I create in here is going to not fall apart. But if you're going to be transporting it then you might want to do a little bit of tape over the top. I think it's never a bad thing to be really secure. But also when we put in some of our materials what you'll find is that some of these materials will hold your oasis together. So the first material I'm going to use is this faciated willow. And um, straight away I can put that in and that will go through both blocks. So, so that is actually basically pinning it together. So I'm not leaving this too high because our orchids are not particularly tall. Um, so if I leave this really, really tall, it's maybe going to look a little bit odd. But we just want to put these in to create a bit of interest. And it doesn't have to be this exact willow that you use. You could use uh, some other twigs or other foliage. But before we kind of add a lot of volume, I quite like using the fascias and just placing them low down. So we can basically go around our arrangement and just put them around the edge. So these are great for hiding our container. And now we can work our other foliage in. So I've got some lovely French or Italian ruscus. So what I'm really looking to do here is, if you imagine a, a spot in the middle of this foam, we're going to radiate out from there and bring all our foliage and our flowers coming from that point. And with this being all round, if you've got a turntable, it's really, really good for actually helping to make your arrangement. So you can be quite quick in how you put it together. So what I tend to do is just think about using one material at a time. So if you approach it in a way that's kind of putting things in a logical order, so to me obviously you need your foam first, then I would cover the edge of the dish, then I'm looking for something to give us a shape, then we're looking for things that are going to fill in. So for my next foliage I've got some lovely pistache. So this to me has got a little bit of volume and we're just going to bring that in. Now you can make this as bushy or as uh, neat as you want. I'm looking for it to look quite natural, quite open and just have a bit of variety of foliage uh, so that it doesn't feel too formal but it does feel abundant. So straight away that pistache gives us a little bit of texture and we're looking for things that have a bit more heavier leaf. So I've got a little bit of salal. So with the salal I'm going to keep that more into the centre and that just brings a little bit of weight into the middle of the arrangement. So generally what you want is you want your bigger, bigger stuff to be more in the middle and your smaller stuff to come more out. So just working that in. And what you're doing is as you're, as you're cutting sections, just look for how it works and then see where best to place it. Now I've got some lovely Aspidistra now. So these have got a nice shape and there's different things you could do with your Aspidistra. You could fold them or you could uh, cut them. But I think it's quite nice giving us a little bit more 
of a bold element into our arrangement. So we can work that in. So again, I'm really just spacing these through the whole design so that as you look at it from any angle, it looks very similar. Now I've got some Pittosporum and this is just like a plain green version. And again, we're just gonna bring that down into little units. And I'm just looking for spaces now that we've still to fill. So this is again adding to that feeling of opulence and variety, keeping it quite natural and adding more interest. So now when I look at this I think this is quite nice but a lot of these commercial greeneries are very dark so what I want to do is I want to add some eucalyptus or something that's going to soften that and really be a contrast. You might have something that's a different colour, but something maybe with variegation. But I think actually this eucalyptus with the soft grey is perfect to go with our soft pink orchids. Now, you get some lovely shapes depending on the size that you've got. And again, I'm just splitting this down and working it through. So maybe start in the middle and then come round the side, but make sure you've got it balanced throughout. Even a bit like this, you're thinking it's not very beautiful, but we can actually still put that in to give us a bit of volume. So what I'm looking for is just placing that in and then by the time we add the flowers, you won't see that it's already been chopped at, but it's making full use of everything that we had to purchase. So just a final check on our design for gaps. Now it won't matter if you have the odd gap at this stage because it actually will help place the flowers. So before we put our orchids in, I've got a few of these beautiful blooms and I thought the blooms would be nice just to add us a little bit of a variation so it's not just orchids and just create a little bit of variation in the flower. So our theme is going to be orchids, but our whole design is not exclusively orchids. So I'm just going to work them in. And you want to get a nice cut on your stems. So cutting at a slant will make it easier for placing your flowers in the foam. So what I do is I just clean off the stem a little bit and then we add our flower. So all I'm really looking to do here is just space these out round the whole display. Now I felt that one break a little bit so there's no point in putting it in if you feel it break. You need to recut it and then you can just use it in a recessed way. So for our flowers then we've got these beautiful orchids and we're just going to work these into our design. So again I would suggest maybe you start in a methodical way And um, what I would be tempted to do is maybe at the top is do three. Now we can even use our stems here to help support our flowers. And then I'm just going to work our flowers into the arrangement working our way down. So 
So if I've got three at the top, I'm looking to really place these next ones in between those three. And these have got a beautiful shape. So now we come down a level again. I'm just wanting to go a little bit lower. And I don't want necessarily want the length. Because where we're going to place this, we want people to look into them and then upwards. I've just got a couple more. So really now's a good time just to have a spin and see what needs what. So is there anywhere that really is needing an orchid? And if you want, you could split one of these down. You could always put a tube, which you have, onto a stick and you could make two stems out of one. But that's our orchids. And this is our design. So I'm not going to add anything more because really it's all about that variety of foliage, the concentration of the orchids, and then just the blooms just to give us a little bit of variety. But we want this to be quite natural and quite open and quite classic. So we've got an all round design and there's only one thing that we can add to this to make it better. And that would be putting it onto classic container. So for this container, I've got this beautiful urn. Now, this you could fill with Oasis if you wanted, but there's no benefit. So using a tray like we've used, we've got the benefit that we can put our design straight on top. <laughs> you won't need to water it. Um, and it sits perfectly. This container just sits on the edge of our design there. So we've got a beautiful, classic, all-round arrangement. And I hope you've enjoyed watching today. If you want to keep up to date with all our videos, then click here and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.